أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Dear respected viewers, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to our program The Seeker of Knowledge Today inshallah we'll be going over a translation and tafsir of Surat Abasa which, which can be translated as He Frowned It is a Meccan Surah and while the Prophet peace be upon him was speaking to some disbelieving notables Hoping to convert them, a blind Muslim man came up to learn from him. But in his eagerness to attract the disbelievers to Islam, the Prophet ﷺ frowned at him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was then reproached and told not to concern himself with the disbelievers. In the second part, there is a condemnation of man's ingratitude, man becomes self-satisfied, and forgets his origin and his final return to God. Now we will listen to a beautiful recitation by Sheikh Mishari al Afasi, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakum khayyan tashakkar. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Abasa wa tawalla an جَاءَهُ الْأَعْمَى وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ لَعَلَّهُ يَزَّكَّى أَوْ يَذَّكَّرُ فَتَنْفَعَهُ الذِّكْرَى أَمَّا مَنْ اسْتَغْنَى فَأَنْتَ لَهُ تَصَدَّى وَمَا عَلَيْكَ أَلَّا يَزَّكَّى وَأَمَّا مَنْ جَاءَكَ يَسْعَى وَهُوَ يَخْشَى فَأَنْتَ عَنْهُ تَلَهَّى كَلَّا إِنَّهَا تَذْكِرَهُ فَمَنْ شَاءَ ذَكَرَهُ فِي صُحُفٍ مُكَرَّمَةٍ مرفوعة مطهرة بأيدي سفرة كرام بررة قتل الإنسان ما أكفرة من أي شيء خلقه من نطفة خلقه فقدره ثم السبيل يسره ثم أماته فأقبره ثم إذا شاء أنشره كلا لما يقض ما أمره فلينظر الإنسان إلى طعامه أنا صببنا الماء صبا ثم شققنا الأرض شقا فأنبتنا فيها حبا وعنبا وقبا وزيتونا ونخلا وحدائق غلبا وفاكهة وأبا متاعا لكم ولأنعامكم فإذا جاءت الصاخة يوم يفر المرء من أخيه وأمه وأبيه وصاحبته لكل امرئ منهم يومئذ شأن يغني وجوه يومئذ مسفرة ضاحكة مستبشرة ووجوه يومئذ عليها غبرة ترهقها قترة أولئك هم الكفرة الفجرة. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Dear respective viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and welcome to our program The Seeker of Knowledge Today inshallah we'll be going over a translation and tafsir of Surah Abasa inshallah which can be translated as He Frowned It is a Meccan Surah and while the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was speaking to some disbelieving notables, hoping to convert them, a blind Muslim man came up to learn from him. But in his eagerness to attract the disbelievers to Islam, the Prophet wasallam frowned at him. The Prophet peace be upon him was then reproached and told not to concern himself with the disbelievers. In the second part, there is a condemnation of man's ingratitude. Man becomes a self-satisfied and, forget, and forgets his origin and final return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we'll listen to a beautiful recitation by Shaykh Mishri al-Afas in Jazakallah Welcome back to our program. Now inshallah we'll be continuing with the a translation and tafsir of Surah Abbas inshallah ta'ala. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. The Prophet wasallam frowned and turned away. Because there came to him the blind man, Abdullah bin Umm Maktoum, who came to the Prophet wasallam while he was preaching to one or some of the Quraysh chiefs. And how can you know that he might become purified from sins? or he might receive admonition, and the admonition might profit him. As for him who thinks himself self-sufficient, to him you attend. What does it matter to you if you will not become pure from disbelief? You are only a messenger. Your duty is to convey the message of Allah. But as to him who came to you running, and is afraid of Allah and his punishment, with him you are neglectful, and divert your attention to another. Nay. Do not do like this. Indeed it, this Qur'an, is an admonition. So whoever wills, let him pay attention to it. It is in records held greatly in honor, Allah al-Mahfuz, exalted in dignity, purified. In the hands of scribes, angels, honorable and obedient. Be cursed the disbelieving man, how ungrateful he is. From what thing did he create him? From nutfa, gamete. He created him and then set him in due proportion. Then he makes the path easy for him. Then he causes him to die and puts him in his grave. Then when it is his will, he will resurrect him again. Nay, but man has not done what he commanded him. Then let man look at his food we pour forth water in abundance, and we split the earth in clefts, and we cause therein the grain to grow, and grapes and clover plants such as green fodder for the cattle, and olives and date palms, and gardens dense with many trees, and fruits and herbage to be a provision and benefit for you and the cattle. Then when there comes Asakha, the second blowing of the trumpet on the day of resurrection, that day shall a man flee from his brother, and from his mother and his father, and from his wife and his children. Every man that day will have enough that day to make him careless of others. Some faces that day will be bright, true believers of Islamic monotheism, laughing, rejoicing at good news of paradise and other faces that day will be dust stained. Darkness will cover them. Such will be the kafara, disbelievers in Allah and His oneness and His messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the fajara, wicked evildoers. Khairan, this is the end of the translation and tafsir of Surah Abasa and make dua is beneficial for all. Please keep us in your du'as. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.